guys welcome back to i think this is episode three of the trip become human we're gonna go ahead and jump back in it last episode we basically played as marcus and connor and we found the defiant which was the black dude that i did not want to give away but we ended up giving him away so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and jump right in let me adjust real quick like and make sure my Squirtle baby is good. I got Squirtle in my lap. And, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. How are you guys liking the series so far? Are you guys liking the playthrough or whatever? I'm, I'm really excited about these, this video that I'm recording right now and the last video because I feel like, I don't know, I feel, oh shit, we're back as Kara. I feel like the quality sounds ten times better, so I'm really excited about that. Let's see what's going on with Kara. Why she look like devastated as fuck. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Oh, he on that red ice too. I want to woke him up, for real. All right, let's see. Let's see if Ty gonna piss me off today. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. my job because of androids shut up with that negative shit Do i need somebody to take care of this goddamn house what do i do I go out and hire a fucking android well bitch you ought to learn to be a better father but you can sure. shut up with that negative shit that's what you can do oh here uh, you go darling androids are so fucking wonderful Fail. You're making her They're uncomfortable. Tired. They're Shit sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Tough. I think you did that, though, buddy. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Hell yeah, no. And I don't blame her. Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Ty. You should. Sometimes you really scare me, Ty. Yeah. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Don't blame her. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. I don't blame her. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. Oh! Be his ass. Us. Go upstairs, Alice. Go upstairs before I have here. to slap the shit out of your father. Go upstairs. Come back here. No, no, Come no, back no, here no, right no, now. no, 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 no. You go sit your ass. Yes. Let's go check on Alice. You stay there. No, you don't tell me what but the you fuck to do. Move. You don't tell me what to do. I'll bust you worse than last time. I'll bust your ass this time, bitch. Let's go protect Alice. Let's go. Cause 
this nigga and lost his mind. Should he reason with Todd or protect Alice? Took off, let it work. Let's go protect Alice. But no! Where's her brother? Is her brother? Oh, shit, I felt. Oh, get the gun. Get the gun, get the gun. Get the gun. Leave her alone. Don't sit your ass down somewhere. You do? I will shoot the shit out of you. That's what I'm doing. And get the fuck out of here. No. That's an order! Hey, no. An order, bitch. I want this you to leave order. her alone. Leave her alone. You want? Yes. What do you mean you want? I want you. What are you gonna do? Shoot the shit You're out gonna shoot me? Is that it? I sure will. Are you gonna shoot a human? I sure will. I'll slap the you shit out of you. You have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat> off me. Who died? Yeah, bitch. You okay? I'm so sorry, Alice. Come on. Aww. Let's go, Cora! I'm so sorry, Alice. I'm so sorry. Oh. You're safe now. Fuck him. For sure, we ain't calling Connor ass to fucking call the police. <laughs> Connor a snitch, man. Connor a snitch. Hey, right, we made it, yo. I ain't gonna lie. I'm low key nervous. Like, how else could that have went? Cause you see where it says Kara kills Todd. Like, can y'all see that? Like right in the middle, right here. It says Kara kills Todd. Like, what else would we would have been able to do for real? Like, he could have, she probably could have tried to like low key reason with him or whatever. But I just feel like it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have really worked. All right. So if we ain't never cleaned the room and like got in that drawer, we would have never seen the gun. But I wonder too though, I'm trying to hurry up y'all, but I wonder too, if we would have just went straight to Alice's room, would we just have got out the house and just hauled ass to the bus? Cause remember we saw that window was open. Okay, we back at Smarkins now.
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. I like Carl. Every Cole, time I go to but one, I like I Alice ask myself, too, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Oh, you feeling reckless. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> but that ain't old, folks. I'm still learning this part. There we go. And I need to plug up my controller before it dies. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh, shit. Don't tell Call me the... the police. Detroit police? What's your emergency? His this son is Carl Manfred's something. android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. Let's go check it out. Ah, uh, shit. You got a gun first Marcus, before no. I... I'm gonna come with you. You got a gun before we just go walk our ass out here? Because I ain't trying to have a whole nother situation like we did with... With old girl. Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Oh! Get Take him, him out of off here. the wheel. Take him off the wheel. Get your ass out of here, bruh. Before I have to handle you, little buddy. Let's, 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 let's order your ass. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. Yeah. You need to I'm leave. Feeling like a badass now. right now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. Yep. What's wrong, Dad? It's not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Oh! That's disrespectful. It is ass. Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Don't do anything. We gotta listen. We gotta listen to Carl. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just here to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Fuck! Fuck! No! Don't, don't, don't do this for yourself. Don't. Fuck him. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down. Stand down, stand down, stand down. Do we have to break out? Oh, we got to. We got to. I think we got to, y'all. Oh right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. You're about to die. My dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. What's it Nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Oh. Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh, it was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Oh, he cried. Remember, Marcus, don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Oh! No. 
Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Oh! He doesn't have to Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What would have happened if we would have pushed him? Ah! Bye. I I don't like this shit. <laughs> like fuck. Damn, bro. All right, let's go back in. Let's go, let's go. Why'd okay, we're back as Connor. What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Connor, you a bitch, bruh. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine, we'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. Well, bitch, you didn't know, Why so somebody got to tell you. Why don't you go out there with your good ideas? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Yeah, because y'all can't do your fucking job. What's up, man? I know I just snitched on you and all, but uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously. I know you don't want to talk to me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. But what happened? Let me gain your trust. Burn marks. Oh, he kept burning them. Oh, he needed his ass whooped. Oh, that's what a baseball bat does? Damn. Destruction low, signs of software is stability. That's what that means. Reach optimal stress for concussion. Alright, let's talk about your wounds. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Okay. Let's, let's try to reassure him. I'm not going to hurt you. You did snitch on him, but... I just need to ask you some questions. So we can understand what happened. Do we got a pressure? Got to 
trust me. Too low. All I want is to get you out of here. So we gotta stress him out? Alright, let's threaten him in. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. There we go. There we go. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Yeah, why did you do that, Connor? Because that was why some good shit. Why you just have left me there? Why? Be honest, because I want to know. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Why? We got him to start talking. Try to convince it. By understanding. I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger. And frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All down. I want is the truth. Confess and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. That's a strong promise. All right, it went down. We might have to strut. We might have to. We got to pressure it. We got to pressure him. Oh! Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? Going up. He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But so we gotta stress him out. Again and again and again. Oh, please. Please leave me alone. No, nah, we right. need to know. Alright. We need to know. Everything is going to be okay. I didn't press give up! I'm not getting anywhere. I give up. Chris, lock it up. Damn, brother. Should have talked. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Intervene. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Intervene. You don't understand. If it self destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. I'm about to slam your head. Chris, to the wall. you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Intervene. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said. See, that's built that's by enough. a lot of jealousy built behind that bitch. Put the gun down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna get away with it this time. You didn't hear his name. Show us. Show us, honey. Looking like her. <laughs> Everything is alright. It's over now. Will you talk now? Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. And you better not too, brother. I'm trying to, trying to save you. <laughs> You're welcome.
Con, about damn time you turn this around. Because I was low-key looking at him like, all right. You just snitched on the brother. All right, let's see if we get one more in and then we'll we'll call this episode quits. Who are we now? Are we back at Skara? All right. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Gotta hurry. Oh. A motel. What did it say? Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Twenty four hours. 24 7 can't stay won't open before morning uncomfortable but safe how to get in very uncomfortable but discreet 24 hours can't sleep here ask for help shop is closed if she asks, the thing is, she needs something discreet. An uh, android's not gonna really want to help her. Let's go to that house. Was the house discreet? I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Do you really? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. So we 
we got a place for. Well, let's go to the house. I think the motel will let us stay tonight, but. They might call the cops low key. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Where the hell do we find a wire cutter at? going in we have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform or go somewhere else mm, we can't find one on lock we look around up here be discreet Oh yeah, yeah, come on. You're right, that's all. Y'all already look. Damn. Laundry mat to find clothes. Hold on. We go to the laundry mat, we can find clothes. Right? As homeboy for forty dollars. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. I don't want to lose her trust. You're right. We won't do it, okay? Damn, Alice. Well, we gonna be sleeping outside then, Shawty, cause you don't want to steal. Come on, Alice. Let's go. You don't want to steal nothing. Come on, let's go. Let's 
your lucky day, brother, because the clothes was my. Alright. We gotta find a wire cutter. Either we gonna be sleeping in the parking lot for the night since you don't want a damn you no know, wire cutters over here or nothing just lying around conveniently that would be nice You know, wire cutters. But we need some conveniently placed wire cutters. Oh, what's this? Wire cutters. Are those some conveniently placed wire cutters? Lovely. Where uh, are Alice at? And if we cut them on a row, it's going to be very obvious. Are you all right? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. She need to be careful because she don't want to lose blue blood. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Alice? Alice! Why did Alice... Wait! What are you doing?! Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. What? Look! I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Okay, well, we Look can. what they did to Ralph. Oh. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Now we'll leave. I think we'd better go. 
Go, so, you first, Alex, in case something happened to her. You better not grab her foot. We'll find somewhere else to stay. We need to find somewhere to spend the night. There's still the motel if we can just find $40. Hang on, Alice, we'll find something, I promise. We gotta find $40, bruh. And she gotta change clothes, so... Where can we find $40 at? What's this? Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. That is food for Alice. Guests can now experience polar bears, leopards, elephants, and even two blue What do you animals. want? Oh, I'm a little brother. girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? <laughs> a homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Did she rob him? For the sake of Alice, come on. But I mean shit, Alice didn't see the shooter that. Is it cameras? It damn sure is. Come on, Alice. Damn. We might lose Alice if we do that. Come on. Come on. Come on. We don't want to do that. Damn! Alright. What are our other options? She gonna have to get these clothes. We gonna have to steal these clothes, bruh. Oh. Oh, I thought those cops. What's those? What's that right there? Mm. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Well, it's in the rain then. All right, the house is unavailable. We can sleep in that car or we could get these clothes. But Alice, it's either I'm gonna shoot the shit out of that, <laughs> the guy at the register, or something, bruh. But let's get these clothes. cameras let's get the clothes we gotta get these clothes
spray. Don't take no nail spray. That's enough. That's enough clothes. Imagine if you hit the wrong button. I'm sorry, Alice. We gotta do something, baby. Glad they changed clothes. Cops circling outside. We gotta hurry up. Let's go to a motel and see if they'll let us stay without forty dollars. We probably could have robbed them and then went and changed clothes, but they probably would have still saw a little girl, and it's probably still would have sent the description. Fit the description. Let's go and see if they'll let us stay. have to get forty dollars for homie down there but let's let's just sleep in the car police are already circling we rob them it's just gone Looks abandoned. Stand back, Alice. Dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? You want me to rob the dude? We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Come on. I mean, unless you want to go across the street and we can rob old buddy, but... been really distant if I would have robbed dude. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Come on, y'all. Like, I had. I had to. You know. Oh, Alice. Alright, we found somewhere safe to stay. 
Looks like we're all good to go. We don't know if the dad is dead or not. Like, for sure. But, uh, we found somewhere to stay for them. Now we just gotta figure out what other what else happens in the rest of the stories. But, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I did not expect it to be, like, an hour long, but... Oh my gosh, like, it's so easy to get sucked into the game for real. But, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next vid. And, yeah. See ya. Bye.